morning. Today we're going to make whipped cream, off the grid whipped cream without electricity and we thought we would share that with you how, how we do it um, in case you are off the grid and have never made whipped cream because you didn't think you could because you didn't have an electric mixer. Now over the years I have made whipped cream with an electric mixer and um, I have to say that it is a lot messier to me than making it um, the off the grid way, <clears throat> excuse me, but I'm a messy cook. So maybe, maybe those of you out there that do electric mixers, you don't have any problem, but usually I splatter it all over. <laughs> so I love this way. Josiah is going to demonstrate for us um, using just a simple canning jar. And if you've ever made butter with a canning jar, you know, it's very easy. And whipped cream is done the same way. It's just, you stop doing, um, the shaking of the cream before it gets to the actual butter part. You also add your vanilla and your sugar in it um, prior to, to shaking it. The other way we're going to show you how to make cream is with this really cool machine um, that my eldest son made me for Mother's Day. Uh, it's his, his prototype. Um, he's, he's really good at unique woodworking, and just like his father. Um, he saw this on uh, Roy Underhill DVD that he has because he loves to make things with hand tools. And I saw that and I said, oh man, I have got to have that. And so he surprised me for Mother's Day with it. Um, so we've, we've not tried it before. It's going to, this is going to be the maiden voyage for it and we'll see how it turns out. All right, you can see that it's getting a lot thicker. Now, the key here is, is not to go beyond the thick point because it will turn into butter really quickly. Trust me, we've learned the hard way. Um, so we're gonna shake it just a little bit more and we'll check back on it in just a second. All right, so now you can see that it's really a lot thicker than just a few minutes ago, and but we still wanna go a little bit further with it. Crucial stage where you want to check it every few minutes or seconds, not minutes. Okay, see, we're going to go ahead and we are going to shake it just a little bit longer. For us, our purposes, that's beautiful cream. Now, it may not be as thick as many like it for whipped cream, but for us, it's perfect. And I do not want to go beyond this point because I'm afraid of it. it'll turn into butter too quickly. But that was really simple. It took less than five minutes to make that. With cold cream. With cold cream. All right, what we have here is the unit I was telling you about that was made for me for Mother's Day by my eldest son. And he's gonna explain to, um, to us what exactly this, this contraption is. Well, this is a, uh, mm -hmm. an egg beater. That's how I first heard it described. Uh, saw it on a Woodwright shop. Uh, one of the early seasons. Uh, Mama says she wanted one, so I made one. We're going to use it for whipped cream today. And how's that? This is a, a rough three fingered paddle. Put into a couple of grooves. These two boards here. Uh, and these are what hold it in. These little latches here. Uh, I've got a piece of leather through the horizontal piece wrapped around the handle and the paddle and the middle tine is longer to allow it to spin all right so do we know if this works uh, well I hope it works <laughs> now you saw Roy Underhill using one and what did you say about it well, when he started cranking on it fast, it was slinging stuff everywhere. <laughs> and he was making eggnog. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how this does.
how. That is so awesome. All right, let's see if we can get it a little thicker. another minute or two. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm starting to see, it looks like it's starting to separate. Yeah, I believe it. That is great right there. That is so cool. It works. It works. Awesome. We'll have this over strawberries tomorrow. It went to butter. Are you serious? It went to butter. So that's how we make whipping cream on our off-grid homestead. Um, we're pretty excited about RJ's uh, egg beater or uh, cream whipper in our case. It worked really well. We weren't sure exactly how it was going to work it was, since it was more like a novelty thing that he'd seen on um, on the Woodwright shop. So anyways, hope that's helpful to somebody out there. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share. Um, be sure to share this video if you liked it. Also check us out on Facebook. You can find our Facebook address down below here under this video. Thanks. We hope you have a great and blessed Memorial Day weekend. Please remember what the weekend is really about. And it's not about barbecues. And it's not about swimming. But it is about those that have served this country to protect us. Thanks and God bless.